The word haram means forbidden or prohibited. There are certain things that the Jews cannot do because they are considered unlawful by their religion. Today, we'll be looking at the 10 worst haram things in Judaism, so let's get into this list. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another FTD Facts episode. My name is Leroy Kenton, and let's just jump right in. At number 10, we have social injustice. Now, social justice is one of the main things promoted in Judaism. And the Bible has focused a lot on the oppressed poor people and how justice should be done to them. According to the book Ecclesiastes 5 verses 8, it says this, and I quote, If you see in a province the oppression of the poor and the violent perversion of justice and judgment, do not be amazed at the matter, for he that is higher than the highest is watching. Which of course implies that God is judging this. Moving on to number nine, magic and sorcery. Magic and sorcery are haram in Judaism and people are forbidden to practice them. The Bible also warns people against the belief in the powers of magic, incantations, and lucky charms. And in ancient times, people practiced sorcery and believed that they had control over uncontrollable things. Now the commandment against false prophecy tells people to trust in their own ability to make decisions about their lives, not to just trust in these incantations and magic spells. There's even passages in the Bible saying that witches shouldn't be allowed to live, things like that. So yeah, very forbidden. Number eight brings us lies. It's a very common practice by many people to just lie for their own benefit, but lying is prohibited for Jews as well. The book of Psalms chapter 5 verse 9 describes people who lie as for there is no truth in their mouths, their hearts are destruction, their throats are open graves, they flatter with their tongues. Also, in the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 16, it says, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. So, in a nutshell, telling lies is a big sin, it is haram, and it should not be practiced by Jews. The next haram thing is legal corruption. Judges are considered the representatives of God on earth and are expected to act fear and wise. It is haram for judges or legal representatives to take bribes and adopt partiality because it is the perversion of justice with the Lord which is strongly prohibited in Judaism. Judges are advised to model themselves on the impartiality and wisdom of God and make the right just decisions for human beings. Next up at number six, we have blasphemy. Blasphemy means contemptuously using the name of God, and it is haram in Judaism. In ancient times, people accused of blasphemy were actually stoned. According to the book Jeremiah chapter 28 verses 16 in the Bible, it says this, Thus saith the Lord, I am going to send you off the face of the earth. Within this year, you will be dead because you have spoken perversions against the Lord. So so clearly it is forbidden to do so. Moving on now to number five, worshiping false gods. People used to worship more than one god in the past. Agriculture was their main source of living, so they developed the concept of agricultural gods of fertility and worshiped them, as well as various other gods were created. And Judaism prohibits idolatry and considers it an act of betrayal of God's relationship with humanity. Now, when we look in the book of Exodus chapter 20, verses two to four, we find these words, I am the Lord thy God, thou shalt not have other gods before me, and thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. So yes, it is haram in Judaism to visit and worship false gods and abandon the Jewish heritage. Number four leads us to incest. One of the things that both modern science and ancient people agreed on is that intimate relations between closely related people could result in biologically flawed offspring. Yeah, whole lot of stuff can happen there. In many societies, including the Hebrew society, strict laws existed and still exist where they put restrictions on who people can marry and be intimate with. It is said in the book of Leviticus chapter 8 verses 16, none of you shall approach anyone near of kin to uncover nakedness. I am the Lord. Men are forbidden to have intercourse with their daughters, granddaughters, sisters, mothers, and vice versa because it is just straight up haram. 
Also, homosexuality is a big haram thing in Judaism. The Bible speaks strongly about homosexuality. It says in Leviticus chapter 18 verses 22, Ye shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. And by the way, the term abomination comes from the Hebrew word that means disgusting thing. Traditionally, Judaism has seen that homosexual male intercourse and not homosexuality in and of itself as contrary to Judaism. And this belief is still maintained by Orthodox Judaism. So having the homosexual desire isn't haram, but just acting on it according to Judaism is haram. Number two brings us to laying with animals. It's also said in the book of Leviticus chapter 18 verses 23, ye shall not have intimate relations with any animal and defile yourself with it, nor shall any woman give herself to an animal to have intimate relations with it. It is a perversion. Now back in the day, some tribesmen, they used to perform these terrible acts with animals, but it is considered one of the worst haram things in Judaism. Now number one, leads us to child sacrifices. Now, if you were asked what's the most precious thing in your life that you would protect at all costs, most people will say it's their children. Yeah, well, people of ancient times, they were also no different, but they did do some terrible things when it came to children. During the bad times, they used to actually offer their children as a sacrifice to whatever God they were worshiping, especially the eldest male child. And this was done as a last desperate plea for help. Now, the Bible forbids Jews to sacrifice their children. In the book of Leviticus 18 verse 21, we find this passage. You shall not give any of your children to sacrifice them to Moloch, and so profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. With that said, that brings us to the end of this list of 10 worst haram things in Judaism. If I missed anything, definitely let me know down below in the comments section, as well as if you made it this far, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up on this video. It really does help. And if this is your first time coming across our FTD Facts videos, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell because we post daily educational videos like this. So if you enjoy this one, you're definitely going to enjoy our future episodes. Thanks for hanging out with me in another episode guys and I'll catch you in the next one.